Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Now that Alan getting out a frog in his mouth. He's eating that sucker. Caught the frog right in front of us. That's what they're living on. That's why they're in here. That's a big frog right there. That's a big one. You yeah, watch it. Got him. Oh, gee, that was a close call. I've been going to Froggy Bayou years and years ago where I might see eight alligators. And then now, every direction, everywhere you see, everywhere you stop, there's an alligator here, there's one here, there's one here. It's real dangerous. Today, we will show you the moments when deadly crocodiles attacked on swamp people. That is a big one. Don't wrap that thing up. Get him up here. Hold the rope, don't let it go. That thing got to pull you old boy. Get him up there, boy. Hold it, hold it. Hold it now, don't let it go, will it? Lines go pop. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He gone. Monster. Straighten the hook. Benny. I mean, got a little crook in that one. Got caught in his jawbone. He kinda almost wanted to straighten it. But when I see that hook, I know right away that's for champ. 500-pound gator in Bayou Black, newbie captain Brock Theriot and his sidekick Aaron Lee aced the first half of the gator season. Eager for more thrills, they dared to explore a perilous zone famous for monstrous gators, setting their sights on the legendary Dr. Steel. But this beast wasn't playing nice, bending their hooks like rubber bands. Today we're heading to a brand new area that's known to pull in big bull gators. Uh, the only problem is it's a real dangerous area. We don't know what to expect, but we're always going to be striving to get a bigger alligator. I don't care if we shoot a 13-foot alligator and put him in the boat. You know, we're still not going to be satisfied. What you see? Tight rope, but no teller. Mm -hmm. Damn, he's running that log. Oh, yeah, he's on that. Hey, dude, this alligator's huge. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Oh, hey! He's gone. We're not using no little baby fishing hooks. Like, you'd have to pull it behind a freaking truck to bend it, put it that way. For an alligator to just bend this hook the way he did, Dude, this sucker's gotta have jaws of steel. Unfazed, they hatched a clever scheme with double hooks. Yet Dr. Steel outsmarted them, vanishing into the murky marsh. Yeah, I think today's mission is to get old Dr. Steel. Get him today? Hey, we got one, we got one. You see it? Hey, give me the trouble hook right now. Ooh, 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 attaboy, attaboy, attaboy. Oh my god. Come on, hurry, the line's gonna pop. This is Dr. Steel. Get higher, higher, higher. Damn, got away. Brock and Aaron didn't give up, laying down hefty baited lines, determined to outwit their slippery foe. All we can do is really just bait these lines. Just heavy, heavy. I'm talking about we need to put about six to eight more lines in here. I got something for that big boy. Look. How you like that? Double hook? You think that's gonna work? Maybe. Let's see if we can straighten out too. See how strong he is. Their persistence paid off when they finally caught Dr. Steele, a massive 13-foot, 500-pound trophy, marking a victorious moment for the rookie pair. Watch your hands, bro. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Watch all right, your all right. Hands. that's off, that's off. Oh, oh, watch him, watch him, bro. Oh, watch him, find the boat. Huge gator, huge gator. This is him. This is Dr. Steel. Dr. Steel, all day. Oh my god, he's heavy. Watch, 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 watch it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Now's your chance, now's your chance. Hurry up, shoot him! Woo! That's 12 all day, baby. <sighs> no more, no more. His days are over, bro. Dr. Steele no more. Close bite. In the murky waters of Grand Lake, Jacob Landry and his partner, Don Brewer, braved the Friday the 13th curse. A feisty seven-foot alligator tested their luck, nearly taking a bite out of Jacob's boot. Luckily, he escaped with just a scare. What do we got here? Come on, big boy. Oh, he's pulling hard. Oh, hey, look at him. Watch it. Watch out. Whoa. Watch your foot. Ah. Yeah, yeah. 
Alright. Hey, got my toes. Damn, what you doing with your foot in the water? Oh, what you pulling them in the boat for? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa. You know, I'm not real superstitious on a lot of things, but, uh, you know, it's Friday the 13th. Uh, maybe our luck is running bad, so I'm gonna be as careful as I can. First one, you got bit. That hurt. Undeterred, they pressed on, encountering more challenges until their fortune turned. They snagged a hefty gator, signaling a change in luck. We got one, we got one. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. Ah, damn. Go ahead. <laughs> Line's gonna pop. Hurry up, Jake, hurry. Boom shakalaka. Nice gator, but now I'm looking one for bigger than that. You know, even though it's Friday the 13th, looks like our luck's starting to change. But the real jackpot came when they wrangled a massive bull gator, defying the superstitions of the cursed day. <laughs> it's not that it's good. It's heavy. It's heavy. That's a big boy, that. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Ah. That's your swamp donkey, big boy. Friday the 13th ain't so bad after all. <laughs> Money shot. Get him. His fat front feet are so damn fat. Man. Never seen that before. There we go. There we go. With their catch secured, they celebrated their victory over the odds, proving that even on Friday the 13th, success could be found in the swamp. Dangerous Gator caught. Captain Brock Theriot and his partner Aaron Lee started their gator hunting season in Bayou Black. At just 19, they aim to prove themselves as the next-gen hunters. With a passion instilled by their fathers and grandfathers, they sought to uphold tradition and make their elders proud. I'm 19. I play college baseball uh, growing up down here in the South. I definitely have a passion for the outdoors to hunt and to fish, and that was planted into me by my dad, my grandpa, you know, all the father figures and role models that I had growing up. I like upholding the tradition that they had, and to make them proud, you know, it would bring nothing but joy to me, and that's my main goal for this year. Brock led the boat for the first time. Going out there as my own captain this year, it's a whole different sense of responsibility. I don't have backup. I got me and Aaron. If something is to go wrong, we got to figure out how to get it done. I'm super nervous, but I'm super excited at the same time. Ready for it? Let's get it. Bang, baby. Facing initial challenges, they turned to family wisdom, using Pawpaw's tip of white rags as decoys. He has nothing on it. Oh, man. Not even small ones, dude. What the hell? We don't got an uh, alligator. Oh. You know the alligators are like them white birds? Tie a white rag right above your bait. They flood us in the breeze like them big wild birds. Their hard work paid off when they caught an impressive 11-foot, 400-pound gator, making them proud rookies. Hey, we got a line coming right here. Three shaker. <laughs> Watch the line, hang on tight. Hurry up, hurry up, get him. You missed, you missed, you missed. Watch out, whoa. He's a monstrosity of an alligator. How you missing? Come on the right side, come on the right side. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on. With Paw Paw's trick proving effective, they celebrated their success, eager for more adventures in the swamp. Out of control. In the depths of Bayou Sorrel, veteran gator hunter Willie Edwards and his son, Little Willie, embarked on an epic adventure to the mysterious Black Lagoon. Willie mentioned a crafty gator called the Champ, a tough catch due to its cleverness. You got something right here on the hook, a big Come on, get him up here. Get him up here. By the way, he's pulling, that's a moss. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That is a big one. Don't wrap that thing up. Get him up here. Hold the rope, don't let it go. That thing got to pull you old boy. Get him up there, boy. Hold it, hold it. 
Hold it down. Don't let it go, will it? Line's gonna pop. Oh, 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 oh. He gone. Monster. Straighten the hook. Bennett. I mean, got a little crook in that one. Got caught in his jawbone. He kind of almost wanted to straighten it. When I see that hook, I know right away that's the champ. The champ, he's a heavyweight contender, and he, I mean, he ain't no joke. I got an alligator I called a champ. I mean, I done went a couple rounds with him. I've been hunting him for three or four years and couldn't catch him. He done broke hooks, straightened hooks, and he done pop rope. Their strategy was to set an ambush, hoping to finally capture the champ. During the hunt, they spotted bubbles and quickly took action. Despite a struggle, they managed to take down the champ. He gonna tuck his head out there to come up. Get a big pile of bubbles or something stirred up right over there. Right there, Willie, right there. Throw him over there. Yeah, pull him, pull him, pull him. Catch him. Oh, oh, oh. Get him, Willie, get him, Willie, get him. Oh. 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 That thing got some power, old boy. Oh, man! Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him! Oh, he's oh. going! He is a brute. Here he comes. Champ just had his last battle, Willie. We got him, Willie. We got him full, oh, son. Look how old that thing is. That thing got some jaws on him. Willie expressed joy at achieving this feat with his son, marking a proud moment. Catching such a tough gator was a big win for both of them, showing they were successful in their hunt for big game in the swamp. I'm tickled to death with him, and I've done it with my son, and can't ask for no better. I mean, we out here trying to reach a goal, catching straight big ones. And we don't. Nighttime gator hunt. After securing gator hunting tags in Mississippi's lottery, Ashley returned home to address predators troubling the local swimming hole. She showed Ronnie how they hunted alligators in her home state, where hunting was only allowed at night. Gator hunting in Mississippi had different rules, requiring stealth and careful maneuvering. Night hunting, forbidden in Louisiana, was allowed there. It's in Mississippi, it's a lottery draw. There's sometimes even 12,000 applicants that put in and only 970 tags given. So we decided we'd take one of the days out of the Louisiana season and try to help. It's more hunting than it is sort of fishing. You have to be quiet to be able to get close enough to one because you have to be able to snag it with a treble hook. Then you gotta get him pulled to the side of the boat. Then you gotta be able to get a snare on it. So a lot of things have to come together to make sure that you're able to get a gator in Mississippi. What's for this? My, it's for my glow sticks. That's the snare. We got a whole nother process here. OK, like well, you got to explain to me, babe. However, they faced another challenge, massive Asian carp infesting the waters. Ashley narrowly dodged a carp hitting her face, while Ron accidentally swallowed a bug. See them carp, don't you? They love that engine back there. They love this motor. I didn't know they jumped that night. Oh, man. I've never seen carp this bad. Anytime you got 20 yards down there, there was another carp in your boat, and it could have been one that, you know, popped you good. I mean, if you're driving down in the boat, 40-pound fish popping you with the momentum that they have coming out of the water, it could kill a boat driver coming through there. Golly. That was coming straight at my head. They're so nasty. They're slimy. You can't hardly get them out of the boat, even if you have a hook, machete, anything. And that just, of course, pisses you off more. Come on, old Che Lau. Watch out! You all right? You all right? Yeah. That carp pops me directly in my face. Thankfully, it just hit me just right, I guess, and didn't knock me out or anything, but definitely takes you by surprise. You know, you hear that <sighs> coming out of the water and you're like <laughs> taking cover. They caught. You okay, Ron? Where you got me at with all these flying torpedoes? <laughs> then I just swallowed one of your big bugs. Despite these obstacles, they succeeded in bagging a large gator, determined to make their hometown safer. Come on, quit laughing. Let's get a freaking gator. Oh, there he is. Where? Right there. Oh, shit, that's a nice one. Oh, baby, I gotta get this. 
No, I think I'm snagged, huh? Oh, no, no you got him. Baby. Hold it tight. Hold I it tight. Keep the tip of it up. up. Keep the tip of it up. He's right here. Crank him up if you can for me, baby. Oh, yeah, he's in. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, no, G. Whew. Oh, here he goes. He's, ro he's rolling. Oh, this dude's cutting me short. Get the snare. Hurry up, babe. Hurry up, Ash. Come on, girl. I got this big boo. Woo -woo -woo. The bullets are on top of the thing. I right got now. it. I got it. I got the bullet in. Hunt for Gator Bait Under the cover of darkness, Daniel and Big T headed to Froggy Bayou with one goal, to catch bullfrogs for gator bait. As they baited their hooks, they encountered a startling sight. For every frog, there were five alligators. Whoa, that's a frog foot. That's a frog. If these alligators want to eat frogs, it's going to be frogs. Well, that's a big alligator. They got five alligators for every frog we see. They're eating all these frogs, T. I saw the frog and then I saw that alligator splash. Frogs typically are caught by hand, but this particular night, there's a lot of alligators. You've got to be real careful. Louisiana law prohibited gator hunting after sunset, leaving the men to watch as the hungry beasts feasted on frogs. The bayou was teeming with alligators, posing a dangerous situation. Got an alligator got a frog in his mouth. He's eating that sucker. Caught the frog right in front of us. That's what they're living on. That's why they're in here. That's a big frog right there. That's a big one. You watch it. Got him. Oh, deep. that was a close call. I've been going to Froggy Bayou years and years ago where I might see eight alligators. And then now, every direction, everywhere you see, everywhere you stop, there's an alligator here, there's one here, there's one here. It's real dangerous. Despite the dangers, they persisted, and their plan worked. Each frog they used attracted big alligators. The night turned into a successful hunt, with their pile of frogs transforming into a pile of captured alligators. Let's get another one, buddy. That's a big one. Another big. Good job, T. Got him. You got it, buddy. That's a big frog. That alligator's trying to get him. We got to run lines some more, so why don't we call it a night, T? Yeah. Line with the frog on it. Let's see if it's going to pay off. He's got a little weight to him, T. He's got a lot of bubbles. Ooh, T, boom. It's a big one. Golly. Ooh, T. Yeah. Oh, he bit the boat. Watch him, T. Wow. Got the oh, T. I'm going to get you a shot. Give me a shot, Miss Ben. Give me a shot on him. Shoot him, T. Shoot him. <laughs> Good shot. Look at the size of that thing. Another bull, T. They love those frogs. All right, go ahead. These frogs are a lot better than I expected. Awesome, awesome bait. Oh, a pile of frogs turned into a pile of alligators. Yep, yeah, sure did. T and I have had a little bit of trouble catching some, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Man, that's some big alligators. Big Gator Rewards. As the new season unfolded, the bayou became a haven for menacing bull gators, their numbers rapidly increasing as they multiplied with alarming speed. A mature male could mate with 20 to 30 females, each laying 30 to 50 eggs, leading to a crisis. To navigate this perilous scenario, hunters honed in on targeting the massive male bull gators, renowned for commanding the highest prices in the market. You know, a big male alligator can breed 20 to 30 females with no problem. And that mature female can have between 30 and 50 eggs. All of a sudden, you're going to have a couple of thousand new little alligators. And that's what's happening right now. We got a major crisis on our hands. The bigger the gator, the bigger the payoff. 
So we're going to have to try to catch them big bull gators. Troy and Terrell faced challenges, but managed to snag several huge bulls within hours, with the largest weighing 850 pounds. It's easy to say that we're going to target big mature alligators, but then doing it is something else. Somebody like Terrell in the boat going to make it a lot easier on me because he's so strong. You see the line? On moving, baby. What you got? What you got? What you got? This feel like good alligator. It's a good one. Oh, he big. Woo! It's a big one. It's a big one. That thing weighs a thousand pounds, man. Woo! Don't move the ball. Whoa, watch it, watch it, dude! Whoa! Ah, shooting, bro! Woo, bring him up! Ooh, big mature, get it, that's what we're looking for. Whoa! Oh, baby, come on up! That's what I'm talking about, big buddy. Baby. They want to do three. Oh, oh, oh. Big alligator. Their strategy paid off, proving that taking risks could bring big rewards in the gator hunting business. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready when you're ready. One, two, three. Oh. Sometimes when you take a big chance, you get big rewards. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to comment, hit that like, and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Share this video with your family and friends. See you soon.